Welcome to Shad Life. Say hi to Brink. Hi! <laughs> I'm here at uh, the Perkins Hill Pump Track. Been here a few times before. Uh, I, if all goes to plan, although it's really windy, <laughs> I'm going to ride here for a little bit and then I'm going to go over to the skate park on Ford Parkway in St. Paul. So, just get some footage. too fast. Oh wait, I'm aiming towards this guy. God, that's weird. I know, you can't tell where it is. Okay, I want to gap from there into there. Let's see if I can do it, or at least come close. The wind is pretty strong, so as soon as I come up that berm, I just get nailed with it. <laughs> oh, that's totally doable, though. Oh, I'll be close. Pop, tuck, get the back wheel in. Oh, well that time I tucked, but I hit both the front and back wheel just a little bit going in. Dugunk. Jump the doubles and then gap that. Here we go. Both of them. Yep. Rhythm, rhythm. <laughs> I was too far to the left <laughs> where I went on the thick part. Check this little shredder out. Full face helmet. Nice work. Shred it. Spider Man helmet, right? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> awesome. This is why pump tracks are so cool. <laughs> the wind got me again, but I still went for it. <laughs> I'm not worried about the racer kid, they're always fast. So I did make it over here to the Ford Parkway, the poles over there. I don't know, my, I, I rode my uh, D 
DJ bike, so I don't know how useful any of the stuff over here is going to be, but uh, I definitely want to ride the bowl with it, so let's do that. Actually, I thought that with the DJ bike, it would be too tight, but it actually feels pretty good. I definitely feel like I have more confidence to go above hoping with this bike. So if I hit this here, yeah, I, <laughs> I think I'm above coping, not by much. <laughs> I'll have to get out my other camera and see. Let's do that. I definitely got above coping, but it wasn't that high above coping. Okay, so rode the ball for a little bit. Um, it's pretty windy, a lot of wind coming from the south, and it's chilly, so I'm gonna probably end my session here. Um, but before I do, let's do a little bike check because I haven't gone over this bike quite a bit and I've replaced a few things recently. So uh, let's talk about this bike. So this is a standard bikes DJ frame uh, made in USA out of Davenport, Iowa. Um, then the fork is an Identity Rebate XL, very hard find um, because it's a hundred millimeter width bolt-on axle, so 10 millimeter standard bolt-on axle. Um, and then I recently updated the stem and handlebar, so uh, Deity um, 80 mil rise bar with a Deity, uh, I think this is 35 millimeter stem, if I remember right. I don't know if it says anywhere. Uh, short stem, um, but it's a 35 millimeter clamp. So I much more beefier handlebar and clamp than I had before. It was a 31.8 uh, before. Um, added these ODI grips. Love these grips. They're classics. Been around for a long time. More of a BMX style grip. Uh, Avid speed dial brake lever. I love these levers. Um, do wish they would redesign, keep this mechanism, but just improve the size of the lever and curve more. But <laughs> this lever is classic, been around since the early 2000s. Um, then we come back here. This seat is actually a Haro seat. It's all one piece. There's no pivotal or anything. <laughs> and it came off the Haro DJ bike that I used to have. I think it's the only part remaining left off of that bike. <laughs> Um, and then um, come to the wheels. Uh, I recently just rebuilt these wheels. I had the same rims before. These are Velocity made in USA. Um, blunt 35, so they're 35 millimeters wide. Um, Maxxis DTH tires, those are also new on here. And then of course the Avid um, BB7 rear brake mechanical and just an avid rotor 160 millimeter and a profile this is the classic hub um, don't remember uh, what it's called but it's a disc 135 millimeter bolt-on spacing been around for quite a while um, super nice hub you know it's single speed of course <laughs> with a cassette driver in there um, and then on the front I rebuilt this wheel with a surly hub now so it has a disc brake capability because I might throw a disc brake on here someday and then put the black rim on there and then cranks they are profile made in USA crank profile sprocket I do want to update this this is the spline drive one but I want to update this to be black 
instead of um, blue. I have the black bottom bracket. It'd be nice to get that to be black. Then the whole color combo would fit perfectly. And I believe this is an Odyssey Bluebird chain. No, oh, maybe not. I don't know what the chain is. <laughs> I usually run Bluebirds because I don't want them to break. But, um, but that pretty much sums up this entire build. But it's a sweet bike and Jason's giving me crap right now. I didn't even know if he was going to show up or not because he didn't actually say he was going to show up. He just texted me, but he didn't say, oh, I'm coming. So and I'm almost but, there. <laughs> but here he is. <laughs> so I guess I'm not leaving yet. I'm going to ride for a little bit longer. All right. Well, that was some um, short sessioning, but pretty fun. Um, it's still February, you know, so it's still cold. My hands are just super cold. Um, but super cool that I'm riding in February, pump track and um, skate park. Um, kind of stoked on that. Uh, but I have a feeling, you know, I, I don't want to jinx it, but <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to have an early start to the season this year. Unless like March, we just get dumped on. But looking at the long term forecast, we're almost to March. It's still looking like we're going to be much warmer than normal. So. Very interesting winter this winter. Hardly any fat biking, <laughs> um, but it is what it is. So there you have it. I appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.